Hello everybody, I am Rip Rick, and welcome back to another episode of Pixel Pirate. If you couldn't tell, uh, home looks a little bit different now. Uh, unfortunately, you guys, I, I lost the world save. Uh, a hard drive was corrupted while I was traveling, and I, I, I couldn't find it on my, um, my other hard drive. I had two of them, one became corrupted, and apparently I saved it on the one that was corrupted. So now we have just about the same mod packs, just a little bit different. Uh, if you look down in the description, I have linked them down there. Um, but as you can see, I have rebuilt our fort kind of castle um, for the time being because, I mean, we need to recover somehow, right? Um, so I figured in this episode it's it's gonna be a little short. I just wanted to update you guys on um, on why I haven't made any any new series or any series at all of my old series. It's because of the corruption of the hard drives that I got distracted. I I, I just I, I let you guys down and I'm back now though. I'm gonna do my best to keep doing what I do uh, and play this and play and have fun. I guess right because that's what we're here for. Anyway, so let's go ahead and uh, check out the house. There's not really much going on. We have the the first floor here. Um, obviously, we have the the trap pit that's usually there. Uh, by the way, I could not find one of these, um, so I went ahead and built one. So this this building is literally all just me. I, I put all of this together. Um, it's not a big deal. It, it, I'd rather have us live in something that's similar to what we were living in before. Um, we have some chests here in one of them. Uh, of course, it's the last one I check because why not? Uh, we have the items that we had in the last uh, Pixel Pirate series. I went ahead and checked those videos. And I just looked at the valuables chest. There was some other stuff like, you know, sand and, and wood and stuff. Um, but I'm sure we'll be fine with this and we'll be able to collect resources using uh, what we have there. Up here we have our sleeping quarters. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. We have our sleeping quarters and just, yeah, a couple doors out. Um, really nothing too exciting. Um, but... I figured because we're in a new world, we need a fresh start. And back over there, I believe I saw a lucky block. You probably can't see it. I can just barely see it out there. It's right by that cactus, right there in the middle of the screen. Uh, it's probably, like I said, pretty hard to see. But we're gonna go over there. We're gonna open that lucky block because I figured, you know, we need a, we need a uh, something maybe to help us, hopefully. And I don't know. I I, I, I figure. If something bad's gonna happen, it can happen to us now. We'll keep our captain's hat on. But we'll get rid of the iron chest plate because that seems semi-important. Um, you guys will hear the music in the background. I decided to leave that on. I kind of like it. It's kind of a nice filler in the back. Uh, and, you know, I can use it because it's with the game. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head on over here. I really am gonna start doing some more exploring. I'll try to find some more villagers because I know in the last time... We we had some villagers that we had uh, that we you know grew 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 a bond with, and unfortunately, obviously with the corruption we're missing out on that, and it is becoming nighttime very quickly. That is no good. That's okay though. We'll, we'll just get to this lucky block and we'll get home, I guess. Look at the moon go up. Ooh, slime island. That's pretty cool. So here we go. Hello. Oh, sweet. There's a village right there. Uh oh, there's another lucky block. Why? Ready? We're gonna do this. Ready? Oh, <gasps> a beacon. Has this happened to us before? I feel like this has happened to us before in the last, in one of the last episodes. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back and check now. That's gonna bother me, but we got an awesome beacon um, Unfortunately, we don't have anything to make a pyramid out of yet So we will have to wait, but I know we'll definitely put it up in the middle and we'll fire it through the middle of our tower So we can find home no matter where uh, where we are. We're gonna run back here We're gonna sleep and then we're gonna go open that other lucky block and we're gonna put this beacon away So that no matter what we can't lose that I, At least I hope no matter what here we go. Let's go ahead and sleep And we're back. No problem. Let's go ahead and go back downstairs. Like I said, we're gonna go check out that other lucky block. And depending on what we get out of it, we'll go check out that village I saw out in the distance. Which is honestly very, very lucky. Um, yeah. 
I think I see another lucky block. You see, I installed the lucky blocks mod in order to, um, you know, just add some add some randomness into the Pixel Pirate series. But they just seem to be everywhere I look. Like, literally, there was another one over here, right? Yeah, it's right there. But then there's another one right over there. <laughs> so, here's what's going to happen. We're going to go to this one, depending on what we get. We'll go to the town, and then, depending on what we get at the town, we may open that other lucky block on our way back. Like I said, we're just getting settled into a new world. Oh, cool. <gasps> Golden armor. We have to take off our, our pirate hat for that. We'll put on full golden armor. And we got a golden horse armor. That's really cool. I'm really glad we got that. Uh, because if nothing else, I have the Tinker's Construct mod in here. And it'd be... I think I believe you can smelt them down for their their ingot value again. So that'll be pretty cool to do, if, if possible. I hope it is. I, I don't really care about the horse armor. Um, but I remember last time I left off, we, we needed to name the, a horse. And unfortunately, obviously... We no longer have that horse, but I, I was thinking about giving myself one. Uh, you guys let me know in the comment section below if you would like that or if you'd like me to actually go try to find him. And of course, there's no way into this house. Hello. Yes, you seem pretty stuck to me. Um, we will go ahead and punch this wood here. Because I don't really feel like... Oh, it's a Tinker's Construct house. Awesome. Excuse me. I'm Yeah, I'm here. Uh, you're not going anywhere because I don't want you to die. Cool. Um, yeah, so we'll just take all of this, I guess. What else? These, oh, that, those are pretty important as well. What do we do? Do we just take multiple trips? I guess we just take multiple trips. Sorry, I punched him. He's not going to want to. I can trade landmines for berries. Really? That seems like a good deal to you. In what world is that a good deal? Honestly, be safe. 19 wool for an emerald, that is a good deal. There are a lot of villagers around. Holy crap, what? I didn't get invited to this part. And they closed, I didn't get invited to this party. Why wasn't I invited? This is awkward for all of you. Oh, slime sword stuff, that's pretty good too. Awesome, at least we have some, some good stuff to work with. I don't know really how much we're going to want to take. We don't need multiple axe heads. We don't need multiple bindings. Like, we don't need a wood binding if we have the obsidian binding. And we have a, already a binding, like I said, obsidian. So, uh, slime binding is pretty good, though. I know that for a fact. Um, we'll check here this table. Now, there is a certain pattern that is really rare that can only be obtained by these villages. Uh, I'll have to check the other one, but it looks like a big crescent moon. And I'm not seeing it in that one, so we'll have to go check the other one. But it's for a specific sword. I believe it's the scimitar. And because we're pirates, we definitely should should get a scimitar. Because that, that seems like something that a pirate would carry. I'm just going to break into this guy's house. No big deal. He loves us by now. Yeah, I'm not seeing it still. Okay, so that's cool. We'll have to check some other houses or something. Um... But, well, I mean, we'll survive. They they love to sell the ore berry. Ore berry bushes, you can get, uh, obviously, um, like bits of ore. And with those bits of ore, you can put them in the Tinker's Construct smeltery and then get ingots or tools out of them. But it's, it's really, I don't know, to me it's not super important. Okay, so I'm still not seeing, I'm still not seeing that piece we are looking for it's okay though like i said not not the most important thing it'd just be a nice thing to have i mean if anything i can go i can go take a real long walk and look for something so, some town that may have it what are you doing i think he's stuck oh wait oh oh i don't know maybe i i'm thinking like i could make a tinker's construct uh tool right now so this is what's going to happen. We're going to go... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm getting just the achievements now because, remember, we just started this new world. We're going to go... Where is it? You... There it is. We got a tool rod pattern. We'll make... That's the... It's so weird. 
Okay, now that we have the wooden tool rod. Do we need two tool rods? Ah, uh, we'll make two just in case. And then we have a, uh, an axe head. And we have a bone binding. So let's see if this will work. There we go. Oh, and then we gotta click on the pickaxe. Oh, we only need one. That's cool. Oh, it's fine. Look, check it out. Boom! We already have a pickaxe. Not the greatest pickaxe, but it'll do. Should we use bone or slime? Ah. Uh, mm, I don't know. But ah, uh, we'll just use bone. That's okay. Bone are very important because you uh, paper actually are important. Are the ones I'm thinking of. Uh, paper is pretty important because then you will be able to add another modifier if if you use those tools. I'll explain Tinker's Construct a lot more as the series goes on, though. Okay, so we're going to save this guy. I wanted to check those houses before he went running in there. First of all, what does he trade? Two emeralds for boots? I feel like I should leave you in there. That's how bad that trade is. But no, I'm a good guy, so I'll let him out. Come on. Do not jump right back in, I swear. Stop. I know you're dancing, I know you're excited, but you don't have to dance right next to the well where I just saved you. Good. Okay. I love these houses, especially because it's in the sand by them. Oh, sweet. I really want to take some potatoes. I actually will. Uh, I'll replant, though. Because potatoes are, like, super important for us because then we have an actual food source. Rather than having to worry about... Where our next meal's coming from. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know where home is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's backtrack. Oh, hey, there's carrots. Should I take carrots? I should probably take carrots. I'm stealing all the carrots. Shh. They are really fast. Like, really fast. Is this like a double village? It might be a double village because this house looks semi cut off. No, I think that's just the shape of this house. I see it as a double village because of how many, how many villagers there are in this little area. Wait, what was that? Oh, it was just this guy's feet. This is the guy that was stuck. This is the first house we ran into. So, I think we go back this way. If not, I'll have to cut and I'll have to come back. Okay, so there's another, there's another lucky block right here. So... Oh, there's home too. Okay, there's another block, lucky block here. But what we're going to do is we're going to be ready to turn and burn, right? So the idea is we're going to break it, and then if anything bad comes out, we're going to turn, and we're going to burn. We're going to run. Got it? So let's do this. Ah! Ah! No, 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 no! No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, I missed it. Dang it. We lost a bunch of good stuff. Okay, on the plus side. On the plus side, we know where the town is. On the not so plus side, we did lose quite a few things. But the good thing is, is that there's a bunch of molding patterns there. It's just that way. And we're going to go open that other lucky block we saw, I guess. I cannot believe. And, like, we had no way to combat it. Like, what you can do is, like, if you have a sword, you can break the, the um, cobwebs. And then if you break the cobwebs, you can actually, like, dump water if we had water. I mean, it's just there are so many things that we could have done to get out of that. And we just didn't have any because we're so early on. Did I hear a dog bark? No, nah, I guess not. I'm going crazy. Absolutely insane. That's fine, though. We'll keep we'll keep on a moving here. Come on, we're we're almost there to that lucky block I saw. Oh, and we lost all that food. Now I feel bad. We should go back to that village and take more. Oh, <gasps> what are you? Lucky fishing rod, luck of the sea, and lure too. Ooh, that is really lucky. Um, okay, we'll we'll have to go fishing, I guess, and see if we can't catch something pretty cool. What if like what if the the fishing rod gave us like a special. Like a special um fish. Like you could only get because we had that fishing rod. That'd be pretty crazy. But I'm not gonna lie, that fishing rod is pretty valuable, especially when it comes to food. I mean I know we have these potatoes, but potatoes are not gonna last us forever. I should not run over potatoes like that. No big deal. But let's go let's go put these potatoes in a furnace, which I don't have. Um so here here's here's the list of what's happening. We are going to make a furnace 
we'll make the furnace and when we make the furnace we'll cook the potatoes and as the potatoes are cooking we are going to go fishing that sound like a plan doesn't matter because that's what's happening I'm glad I'm glad we got something laid out <laughs> it's driving me absolutely insane today we have a ton of cactus cacti cacti by the house so at least that's a big plus but I, don't, I, I guess we'll use it for dyes and self-protection we'll sleep and then I'll go we'll go um I think I actually know where I want to start the mine which is really good because it's actually not a bad idea we will go ahead and grab no go ahead and grab our pickaxe and I wanted to come down here to our first floor just jump down and down here and I figured we'd start the mine down here like I said I built all this but I there I don't know if there is a cave around here or anything like that because I didn't really do any exploring I just kind of dug in the ground and put these poles up I should probably take this chest I kind of liked how it was how it all looked like all you know nice but I guess I guess everything has got to come to an end right okay so we're just gonna get we're not I, I don't know I don't think I want to just get eight pieces now that I think about it um, we'll get a little bit more we'll make quite a few furnaces like how does five sound so we need 40 pieces of oh hey there's a cave cool yeah so we're gonna need 40 pieces of the cobblestone what what is that what is this I'm not like this was not planned at all I don't know if this was like a, a messed up spawn or, or what, but that is awesome, you guys. What is this? What is this? Does anybody know what this could have, like, been? If you look at the mods below, you'll know exactly what I'm using. Hmm. Maybe, like, it's supposed to seem like a collapsed mine? I honestly have no idea. That was really cool. I'll just grab this iron as well. How many pieces do we have? We have 24, but we already have a furnace, so we're only going to need um, 32 to make our five, our five furnaces, or have five furnaces now. Okay, and then we'll head back up. Make a nice stairway out of here. And we'll go back to the surface. Let's go ahead and make our... our Sorry, we'll go ahead and make our furnaces, and then we will... We don't have anything to use in the furnaces. Jesus. I am, I've been like really off. That's okay. No crafting table. This is like, I, I, I really like when I set up for this, I was really thinking real far ahead. You can tell. So now we have to go get wood. Just absolutely terrible, but it's okay. I, uh, I'm okay with it. Oh, this is cool though. Uh, we are right next to an acacia. Forest, I guess. Which of the acacia wood is, a, is a gray on the outside, as you can see from the logs, but then orange on the inside. It's an orange or a more orange wood. And we have an oak tree right there, which is really cool because then we don't... Did I pick up a pickaxe? No. I mean, uh, axe? No. Um, it's really cool because then we, we don't need to go searching, hopefully, for more oak saplings. Hopefully that tree will give us some oak saplings and then we won't have to worry about it. Okay, we don't need that much wood, so we'll get this. And then for next episode, you guys, I'll definitely come out and I'll, I'll give my, I'll get myself some, you know, I'll get myself a pickaxe and, or, geez, an axe. Wow, how many times are we going to screw that up today? No problem. Yeah, I'm going to go get myself an axe or after the episode, I'll get myself an axe. We'll cut down some of those trees. We'll replant some of those trees so that you guys don't have to uh, watch me run over there every time. I really apologize about that. I should have been more prepared. Try to be more prepared. More prepared. Yeah, and uh, I just, I, I, you can't plan for everything, I guess. So we'll just save our nice things. I still don't know what to do with the iron plates. The iron plates have to do with building the flintlock pistol and a few other things out of the, I cannot remember which mod it's out of right now. It's, it's, uh, I'm just, yeah, I just don't know. Anyway, I, I'll, I'm sure you'll be able to find it in the links down below. I believe it's the pirates mod, but... 
I don't want to say for sure and give credit where credit. I want I want to give credit where credit is due. Okay. Why does that say? Okay. Oh, okay. So we're showing item codes. That's right. No problem. Okay. So let's go ahead and make our crafting table. Nice. Look look at the big steps we are taking. <laughs> That's, that was sarcasm, of course. Uh, I'm assuming we're going to need sticks and things. But for now, there we go. Now we have four more furnaces. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. And then we'll just go ahead and drop our acacia logs in here. And we'll let those cook up so that we have charcoal so that we can make uh, torches as well. In, in the future if we need to and we can cook these potatoes hopefully all of them I don't think that's how it works though I think it's one per eight so we will cook 16 of the 21 which is fine by me we'll just let these uh, these couple of wood planks burn down the potatoes and then we'll go ahead and get fishing I'm excited to go fishing actually come on come on come on come on come on come on, come on, come on. no problem Anyway, we have, I guess, some resources, which is nice. I don't know what the salt is used for. If I had to guess, it'd be for gunpowder. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Like, you use the gun, a combination of the gunpowder and salt in order to make bullets and stuff um, in, in one of the mods. Like I said, uh, I'll, I'll be a lot more researched on the mods in a little bit. It's because I'm rebooting the series that I've forgotten quite a bit about uh, a few of them. I hope you don't mind, but I'm really glad I'm back here, you guys. I, I really hope you are too. Are, are glad I, I, I've I've restarted the series. Actually, it might be part of cooking, but the, the salt. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad I'm doing this series again, you guys. Um, and I really, really look forward to to making more episodes and having and seeing what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please remember to hit that like button. If you are new to the channel, please. Uh, if if you want to stay, oh look at that fish! Look at the fish! <gasps> We got one! Anyway, sorry. Uh, if you guys are liking the channel and you're having a good time, uh, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Uh, it shows a lot of support to me, and it, it, and it lets me know that uh, I'm doing something right. And if I'm not doing something right, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys want to see. My feelings are not going to be hurt because um, you're voicing your opinion, and, and I am here because you're here. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. You have a great day. One more.